So we have a coach here, and the Dojo Stormers, the one with the headgear, and coach sweeps him. But you can tell very, very soon that coach is going very, very light, right? He's showing that I can hit you, you see. He's even allowing the guy to sort of attack pretty low blow early, but lots of sweeps, right? Now, obviously, the challenger is also not Charlie Zelenoff, right? So the coach can afford to do this. But as we know, a lot of times in these types of matches, because the person challenging just doesn't know, it can be already interpreted as disrespectful to be like, hey, can I just try and spar you in the ring, right? So a lot of times these aren't received well, and there's an unintended or even intended intention to sort of hurt, right? But look at how light this coach is. See, all those punches are just taps, right? And what's interesting is you can tell that the Dojo Stormer obviously sometimes doesn't know how how hard, right? He doesn't know how to spar correctly, so sometimes he might accidentally let loose a hit that's a little bit too hard compared to what he's usually doing, right? Like here. But notice the coach isn't escalating with him, right? The coach is like, I trust my defense. I trust my abilities. Look at that. He did a shoryuken. Look at that. Pulled that kick right there, but... That kick would have knocked him out if this were a little bit harder. Look at that. So, there's definitely criteria to be this nice to a dojo stormer, right? And I think one thing we're learning from this is you definitely have to have a big skill difference, right? If you're around the same skill or just slightly better, I don't think you can afford to do this. But this coach obviously knows what he's doing. And then also... A lot of it depends on the guy that's dojo storming too, right? If he's sort of occasionally striking hard because he doesn't understand, well, maybe you could tell him or you could sort of just use your superior skill to just evade, use it as a practice for evading, defense, etc. Ego control maybe. But, you know, if he looks like he's malicious, maybe you kind of have to humble him. Or maybe don't even get into the situation in the first place, Ray. So, oh, look at that. <laughs> the coach, I guess, is definitely not just practicing interception and defense, but also practicing combos, right? This is a pretty good opportunity to practice combos that have three, four moves. And, of course, practice your angles and sweeps. This is Jerry from Fight Commentary Breakdowns. First of all, if you liked what you saw and want to chime in, not just comment, give me your thoughts, but press the like and press subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Now, those of you who know I hurt my ankle and my ankle still driving me crazy, and the truth is it's been a little bit of a downer. I've been having a pretty tough week. Obviously, I've got a big channel on martial arts, and the past year has been just injuries not even related to martial arts that have been preventing me from doing martial arts, and it's been really frustrating. On the plus side, Coach Nicholas Sagnac came over yesterday, so we recorded some videos, so I will have those videos come out soon. Savak Coach Nicholas is always very supportive, always full of knowledge, so you guys are in for a treat the next two videos. Also, I'm about to have a video collab with Brave CF. So that's a great fight league, and we will have a judoka featured from Brave CF. So lots of good things to come. Keep posted, and seriously, keep sending me footage. Keep messaging me if you want, and we'll talk soon. Fight Commentary Breakdowns out.